a detailed step-by-step -step process on how to properly train your puppy. Let's go. Okay, you guys, potty training a puppy requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to walk you through the process. The first step is going to be to set your puppy up on a routine in regards to feeding and potty breaks. Feeding your puppy at the same time every single day will help you make it easier to predict when the puppy actually has to go uh, to the restroom. And then of course, with potty breaks, you're, make sure you're taking your puppy out pretty frequently, okay? Especially after waking up, eating, drinking, and playing. It's pretty common for young puppies to have to go to the restroom every one to two hours. The next step in the process is going to be to choose a potty spot, okay? Des designate a specific area to take your puppy every time they have to go to the restroom. The consistent smell will help them understand that that is the place to go. Now puppies won't do this naturally. We have to facilitate this and the best way to go about doing that is to actually use a leash and walk your puppy out to that same spot every single time. Okay, the third step in this process is to actually use a potty command, okay? Give going potty a name. This will help associate the command with the action and before you know it, you'll be teaching your, your dog to go potty on command. When your puppy does go potty outside, you wanna make sure that you're rewarding them every single time. It's okay to do that with treats or verbal and physical praise, whatever your puppy responds to the best, but make sure we're using a little positive reinforcement in this sense when the puppy does go outside and in the designated spot that you do want them to go potty in. Okay, so the fifth step in this process is going to be make sure that you're supervising your puppy indoors, okay? You want to be looking for signs that they might have to use the restroom. Those signs can often include the puppy sniffing the ground a lot, walking around in circles, and even whining. If you see any of those signs, you're going to want to make sure that you leash your puppy up and get them out to the designated potty spot, okay? Now, if your puppy is prone to accidents indoors, Consider using a leash and keeping them leashed and tethered to you inside so that you can keep a better eye on them and look for these potential signs that they might have to go to the restroom. The sixth step in the process of how to properly potty train your puppy is to consider crate training, okay? It's really important that if you can't supervise your puppy directly or you're doing something where you can't maybe have them tethered to you with a leash, then crate training is the next best solution here, okay? Puppies, they typically don't want to soil where they lay. So you, they will absolutely become audible and start making a bunch of noise and stressing out a little bit if they're confined to their crate and they need to go. So in that sense, you may be able to hear that they need to go potty outside. And of course, the protocol is the same. You'll leash them up and get them out to that designated potty spot. The seventh step in the potty training process is going to be to make sure that you handle accidents properly, okay? If you catch your puppy having an accident, don't punish them. Try to interrupt them and get them outdoors so they can go in the right spot, okay? And then, of course, if you're able to interrupt them in a timely fashion and you can get them to finish outside, definitely reward that, okay? That's very important. Dogs learn through cause and effect. They need immediate feedback. So making sure that you're interrupting them and rewarding them outside is critical in this process of teaching them not to go indoors, okay? Now, when you are able, now if you could catch them having an accident, you wanna make sure that you're cleaning up the mess with the proper products, okay? Without question, it needs to be an enzyme eater. The two most popular products on the market today are going to be nature's miracle and simple solution so it doesn't necessarily have to be those but make sure that on the label it says that it's an enzyme eater that's very important 
in making sure that the puppy doesn't go to that same spot and smell the old urine despite your efforts to clean it with another household product. It will not get the urine all the way up uh, at, a, at an atomic level. So very, very important that it's an enzyme meter, okay? I can't stress that enough. So don't punish the puppy, interrupt them when caught, clean it up with a proper uh, cleaning solution. The eighth step in this process is going to be to be patient, okay? Uh, it takes time. Puppies may, some puppies may take a few weeks. Others may take a little bit longer. Consistency is the key here. Make sure you're being consistent and patient with your puppy, okay? Every puppy is a little different. Some will take a little bit longer. Some will catch the hang of it right away. But consistency is the key without question. The ninth step in this process is going to be gradually increasing freedom. As you do the steps one through nine, the puppy's going to start to learn where to go, where not to go. And they're also, as they age, they're going to develop bowel and bladder control. Okay, you have to think of puppies as newborn infants. In the beginning, they just don't have the bowel and the bladder control. And that's why we set up this uh, routine in terms of feeding uh, the puppies, right? So they're going to age. They're going to start to develop this control and you're going to be able to eventually grant more and more freedom as the puppy ages. The tenth step in this process is going to be what we consider to be nighttime training. This just simply means that we're going to limit water before bedtime. Typically we want to take water away from the puppies about two to three hours before we go to bed. We also want to make sure that we give them an opportunity to go potty outdoors before we go to bed. That's going to help ensure that they have the most uh, successful opportunity to actually get through the night without having an accident, okay? And then very young puppies, unfortunately, you guys, you might have to get up in the middle of the night and give them a potty break. That is just how it goes. We took this responsibility of bringing a puppy into the house. It's uh, an exception that we're going to have to make. But the nice thing is puppies learn very quickly. They develop the bowel and the bladder control pretty quickly. So it's not something that you're going to have to do forever, but consider it is something that you might have to do. A couple of final tips here, okay? Um, consistency is the key. Make sure you're sticking to the same routine every single day. And additionally, just be calm. Training can take time and setbacks can happen despite our best efforts. Stay patient, keep a positive attitude, and before you know it, your puppy, your puppy will be fully house trained. We hope you find this information valuable. We'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Talk to you next time. Peace.